So in this video, we're going to do a shoe unboxing. Um, these shoes are from Dolls Kill, of course. At this point, almost every shoe I own is from Dolls Kill. If not Dolls Kill, then like, why are you? Um, these shoes though, I'm actually really excited about. Uh, s like short story time. Uh, I've been going through this thing, I've talked about it a couple times, where I'm trying to essentially purge my closet of anything black. Um, more than not because I used to use it as like a comfort blanket. I only ever wore black because I thought I was supposed to because it's slimming and I'm not so slim. Um, and then eventually one day I was like, I hate wearing black, it doesn't make me happy. I like wearing cute colorful things. And so I was, I just, I made a decision one day that I wasn't gonna wear black anymore. Um, the only thing is during the winter, I found myself kind of slipping back into it. Um, and the main reason was because the only boots that I own are black boots or owned were black boots. Um, and when it's really cold outside, I don't wanna wear sneakers. I wanna wear boots because it kind of makes my feet a lot warmer. So with that being said, these are boots for the winter time and they're colorful boots so they'll more go with my aesthetic and everything that I like to wear so I can actually not wear black. So I donated my black boots and almost all of the rest of my black clothing except for like <laughs> leggings because leggings are really comfortable when I'm like editing videos and stuff. But this is what the box looks like. You can kind of see some of it poking out right there. Um, this is the box. I don't know if I've mentioned Club X shoes. M most of their novelty shoes are from Club X. Uh, not that these are novelty shoes, but um, novelty-esque. Uh, you'll see what I mean. Um, like my butterfly boots are from Club X and I own some other shoes that I don't wear really because they're black, but they're from Club X and I love them too much to let them go yet. Um, but anyways, <laughs> let's actually get into the unboxing. So I'm taking the lid off. This is what they look like. Do you recognize them? I don't know if anyone else has seen these. Uh, they look like this. Dun, da, da, da. So they are platforms. Um, this is my thing. Most cute shoes that I find are platforms. Um, and the only thing is I'm already a really tall. I'm like 5'8". So I don't really love wearing platforms, but I like having cute shoes. So I'm struggling over here. Um, I want to look up online to see if there's a way that you can actually get um, the platform cut down to an actual normal sole or something like that. But anyways, this is what the shoe looks like. Dun, dun, see, like, look at how big that platform is. Like, can I just get the platform cut so it's like here? That'd be great. Um, but this is what the shoe looks like little pom-poms over here it does have a little bit of this me meta metallic um holographic possibly uh like shiny fabricy thing i don't even know what to call this um because it's kind of like plasticky but on the heel and on the toe it has that and then it has little bands of it if i can capture that right here like little bands every once in a while I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of this, um, I just, I don't know why, I just don't love it, but I loved these shoes, and I even like the little bands of it going through the top part, so I figured, you know, it's not like it's the whole shoe, so I can deal with it, um, but these are so cute, and I'm so excited to wear them to keep my legs warm so I can stop relying on black boots and pants and everything like that, so... This is what it looks like. Let me get the other one out. They're so big. They come with this like protecting the bottom part. Uh, okay. Other one. Just as cute. Okay, so let me actually get into showing you the shoe shoe. So I can actually call this an unboxing. Okay. So you've got, oh. What is that? Oh, it's just fuzz. Okay. I was about to be like, it's damaged. It's just fuzz from here. Okay. So this is your platform. It's got an awfully big tread on it. So you don't have to worry about slipping. Um, cause some platforms have flat bottoms and it's easier to slip. This has a tread, so it's nice. Um, this is from club X. They do a lot of like festival winter gear, which is what this is from. Um, I'm assuming that's why it has all of the colorful 
holographic shiny parts on it. <laughs> so it has, why is this D ring here? Let me see. Okay. <laughs> so it has these, it's hard to show you. Uh, let me show you this one. Okay. It has these D rings right here. And these are actually for you to tie this with. It lo loops through them. There's another one right here. There's more on this side. It's just harder to see them with all the fuzz um, so that you can tie this through them like that and then wrap it around your ankle a bunch. There are more right here holding them up with smaller ones right there. That's really cute. They also have a big zipper going down them so you can easily get your foot in and out of them. I'm slightly worried that this isn't going to fit around my calf because I kind of have big calves. Um, let's hope that it kind of fits. If not, I guess I could try and like bunch it maybe. Do you, you have something in here? I was like, there's no way that this is that structured. Okay. That's it. Maybe I can like bunch it <laughs> like that. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Um, but this is so soft. It's faux fur. You don't have to worry. Um, it, I think everything from Doll's Kill is faux fur. Um, they weren't expensive enough to be real fur at least, but, um, this is so soft. It's so comfortable and it doesn't look like it's shedding. There's not any fly, there's a couple flyaways, um, but nothing like drastic. So that's good to know. They're not just going to become bald one day. Um, and then you can better, let me do it this way, better see the little metallic-y stripes going through. It's the same fabric. It's just kind of banded around. I do like that it gets larger. So like you got your ankle and then it just keeps getting wider. So hopefully that they'll fit me. Um, good looking out for girls with bigger calves. I hope, I guess. Um, or if you have smaller calves, um, it does that really cute, like larger boot top look. Um, but it's also, I think meant to be able to fit around snow suits. <laughs> So there's that. I just really loved these. I really wanted some cute wintery boots that were in a pastel color to keep me warm um, and not make me go back to wearing black, which makes me really unhappy. <laughs> so these are the two shoes. I'm gonna insert a little video like that, a little video of me like trying them on. So I guess we'll both find out if they fit over my calves. Um, so you can see what they look like on. And then I guess that'll be it for this video. Super short, but a really fun, um, little shoe unboxing. Doll's Kill actually has a lot of cute, like pastel -y winter boots. They have some other ones that I really want to get. They have a white pair and a baby pink pair that are uh, Demonia shoes. And the baby pink pair is a uh, Doll's Kill exclusive. And then the white pair is also on the website of the makers of the shoe. But um, those are my next two ones that I really want to get. Um, and then those with these, will mean I have three different pairs of really cute pastel winter boots that I can wear come next winter or if we have another cold front down here, but I don't think we will at this point. Um, but yeah, I actually really love them. Uh, let me know if you know or if it's even a thing or if I'm just crazy, if you can actually cut down platforms. Is this an actual thing that happens? Do people get platform shoes and have them cut down to like normal shoes? like small shoes, non-platformed shoes. I don't know what that's called. Um, oh, before I leave, maybe it might help if I actually told you some stuff about the shoe. I got these in a size 10. <laughs> I got these in a size 10 because I didn't want to risk getting them in a size nine and them not fitting very well around the toe or around the calf or anything like that. I also got my pink butterfly shoes that I did in my last Dolls Kill unboxing, like the big one, the Black Friday one, that one. Um, I got those in a size 10 as well. I tend to size up in Dolls Kill shoes just to be cautious, um, just in case, because their return process is a hassle and I don't have time for that. It, if they're too big, I can wear thicker socks, which especially when it comes to winter shoes, that's not a bad thing. So uh, I'm also gonna tell you what they're called, possibly. Yes, I'm gonna tell you what they're called, it's on the box. These are the Glam, <coughs> excuse me. These are the Glamtopia Galaxy platform boots in light purple or lavender. It literally says light purple slash lavender in a size 10. Um, so if you want some, that's, that's what they're called. You can go look them up or you can just look up pastel 
winter boots and I'm pretty sure they'll pop up. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure they'll pop up. But yeah, these are them. I just wanted to show you guys. I was actually really excited to get these. And now I will stop talking and I will cut to me trying them on for you guys. Um, but I'll do my ultra now. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I will see you in the next video, I guess. I don't know how to do outros. I don't have a specific outro and I find myself, I feel like I copy other YouTubers outros, whoever I watched last recently. I feel like I lean more towards whatever they say for an outro because it's freshest in my mind of how to say bye. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking now. I'll see you guys later. Bye.